Okay. Are we live? I think we're live. Yep. Yeah, smile. All right. Um, we'll wait here for a couple minutes. Let everybody kind of know that we're doing this live stream here real quickly. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. Um, it's going to do a, a quick live stream here. If you're uh, tuning in or whatever else, I'm going to do a quick live stream on. Um, okay. I'm going to do a real quick live stream on this whole COPA ruling thing and the new harassment policy that's just come out today. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, hi, brother. Hey, brethren. Um, I'll just wait a couple minutes here. Uh, hi to everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. Yep. Mr. Oliver. Yes, if you don't know, this is my son Oliver here. You see the resemblance? He doesn't have a beard yet, though. No beard. Did you shave your beard off? <laughs> yep. So, all right. Um, see if I can do this screen share thing here. Um, I'm not sure. How do you do this? I think do you do share a screen to see this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See if this comes up here. I'm trying to figure out how to use this thing. Um, this thing just came out. Okay, it's still not sharing it. Uh, hmm. I can't figure it out. But um, mm -hmm. just wanted to, to do a, a real quick video here on this whole COPA thing. I don't know if everybody's heard about it. Um, basically, the child or children's online Privacy Protection Act, I think is what it is. And a lot of people have been sending me things about it and they're saying, you know, um, what do you think about this? You know, there's, you know, saying the possibility of $42,000 fines if you violate this thing and you, and you know, is your video made, well, keep your mouth shut. Is your, is your video made for children, um, you know, and to getting, to get them into it so that YouTube can take things and whatever else. Um, and, you know, there's been a lot of people saying, you know, should you set your videos to um, that they're being made for children or just not at all? And, you know, and if you all this controversy back and forth. Um, so I don't I, I looked into the whole COPA thing. There's a you know, I mean, I guess technically this video could be you know, my son's in it. So I could get in trouble if I don't list it as for children or some kind of thing. I'm not really, um, I'm not really worried too much about the COPA thing simply because I'm not a monetized channel. So I can't see how they could get me for trying to, to get um, children to watch my videos or something. My channel is not for children. Children can watch. There's never any profanity. Everything we do is clean and of course from the Bible. Um, so, you know, there, there shouldn't be a problem there with the whole COPA ruling thing, but uh this brand new thing just came out today um, here. Uh, trying to think of how to do this thing. I wish I could 
Does anybody know how to do the screen share thing? What is the button that you push? I don't even know. Okay. Um, I'll share this comment here. Um, the question is, what will happen to unmonetized channels? Mass deletion. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, but this this brand new policy that they they just came out with today, um, official, an update to our harassment policy thing. Um, I wish I could figure out how to do the screen share thing. Try it over this way or something, maybe. I don't know. I cannot for life me figure out how to do the screen share thing. But... Um, Okay, um, brother here, he says, uh, question, if they take your channel down for that, would you consider Podbean podcast as a possible alternative? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, screen share, I guess is what you're saying. Yeah. Screenshot. Screen share is window and print screen button. Um, Okay, uh, help me out here. I'm trying to figure. Um, print screen button. What is that? Sorry, I'm kind of dumb with this whole thing. Hi, everybody out there, by the way, too. I'm, I'm just uh, trying to figure out how to do this screen share thing. So I'd like to go over this new harassment thing. Okay, so control V. That and control V. I don't know. Screen share should be on a tab under the video. Hmm. Still not figuring it out. I, th I mean, I clicked on this one thing here. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Well, I'll just I'll just read the thing. I guess I can't get it up on screen. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why it's. Oh, right there. Okay, I see it now. Okay. This one here. All right. There we go. All right. I think I have it now. I think I finally figured it out. Um, I'll wait till it comes up here. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me zoom in on this thing here so people can see it a little bit better. Make sure it, you know, comes in there. But it says here, Official blog, an update to our harassment policy, Wednesday, December 11th, 2019. This thing here um, is not good. I mean, this just came out today. 
Over the last several years, we have worked to improve the way we manage content on YouTube by quickly removing it when it violates our community guidelines, reducing the spread of borderline content, raising up author authoritative voices when people are looking for breaking news and information, or rewarded, rewarding trusted creators, yeah, get that, and artists that make YouTube a special place. Yeah, brother. Um, today, we are announcing a series of policy and product changes that update how we tackle harassment on YouTube. We systematically review all our policies to make sure the line between what we remove and what we allow is drawn in the right place and recognized earlier this year that for harassment, there is more we can do to protect our creators and community. Harassment hurts our community by making people less inclined to share their opinions and engage with each other. Sure, we heard this time and again from, our, from creators, including those who met with us during the development of this policy update. We also met with a number of experts who shared their perspective and informed our process from organizations that study online bullying or advocate on behalf of journalists to free speech proponents and policy organizations from all sides of the political spectrum. I don't believe that for one minute. YouTube is very liberal, um, whatever. We, re we remain committed to our openness as a platform and to ensuring that spirited debate and a vigorous exchange of ideas continue to thrive here. Nonsense. However, we will not tolerate harassment and we believe the steps outlined below will contribute to our mission by making YouTube a better place for anyone to share their story or opinion. Yeah. Um, uh, a stronger stance, stance against threats and personal attacks. We've always removed videos that explicitly threaten someone, reveal confidential personal information, or encourage people to harass someone else. Yeah, uh, right. Check this out. This video by this wicked devil here, right there, they're showing my personal information. I'm not going to show the thing, but they go, and they're actually showing street views of my house here in Bridgewater. And I complained to YouTube about it. This is January 29th, 2019. I complained to YouTube about it. And, and what did they do? Excuse me. What did they do? They didn't do anything. They waited a month to contact me and said, oh, well, we don't feel that this, this violates anything. You know, and it's still up. The video is still up showing my personal house here, street views of my personal home, my address, my phone number. And it's still up. Not to mention the fact of, of Edward Fenninger and a bunch of these other guys literally stealing videos off of my private Patreon channel. My Patreon channel gets shut down and these guys were never prosecuted. So YouTube, a bunch of stinking, you know, liars. It's, it's just insane. But see, selective enforcement is all that this is. You know, they just, oh, man, just makes me so mad. And, then, you know, they're going to turn this on people like me. All the all the Goonie channels out there and whatever else that are that are violating these things, violating my privacy, they'll be up. Everything's OK and everything else. But, you know, you can read down through here and it's all oh, we're going to go against hate speech. And, and, and you know, um, something we heard from our creators is harassment sometimes takes the shape of a pattern of repeated behavior across multiple videos or comments, even if uh, any individual video doesn't cross our policy line. You know, whatever it, it just it. it really, you know, makes me mad. Um, okay, we're back. <laughs> um, it, it just, it's upsetting uh, because, you know, if this COPA thing, you know, if they don't come after me for that, then they'll just use this next, this new policy that they came out with today. And I'm just, I'm getting a little bit tired of it because um, you know, I do not like to censor my speech and I don't censor my speech. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm getting really tired of YouTube and, you know, I just, I want to be able to, to say a major prayer request is, um, what does the Lord want for the future? Because I understand that, that there's coming a time of the God's going to send a famine for hearing the words of the Lord, but it, it grieves me. I mean, I just spent literally a couple hours today um, reading people's letters that were sent here to the ministry and answering them. And I'm hearing people's lives changed and so many people have been touched by this ministry and I want to continue for people out there, my viewers. And I don't know what to do because YouTube is just, you know, really coming up with some ridiculous nonsense. And um, it's just frustrating to me.
So I, I really wish that there was some kind of a um, way that I could do video. You know, I mean, I, I tried to have video players on my website and it just does not work. YouTube, you know, streams things much better and, and whatever else. Um, you know, I don't know. It, it's, <laughs> it is just frustrating, you know, seeing this thing, you know, I mean, I, I honestly don't think that there's much longer that, you know, people are going to be allowed this to speak freely on YouTube. You can see the speech, the, the censoring of the speech coming, the whole 2020 election thing coming up. It's going to be, we have to, you know, fight against fake news. And so we're going to have to be really careful, um, you know, what we allow on the internet and whatever else. And, and so, um, so I don't know. Uh, I just, please do pray for us. Um, I don't want to just rely totally on YouTube and then, Hey, everything, you know, uh, you know, just goes boom and, and we get kicked off YouTube or whatever. And I know oh, what do we do now. Um, if they do shut my channel down, I'm just going to start coming out probably with offline videos. I'm not even sure how it's going to work yet. Um, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm seeing a lot of your comments and things, and I really appreciate it, you know. Uh, you know, it. I, I guess the thing that irks me, I mean, I know, I know what the scriptures say. I know how that we get persecuted. I have gone through plenty of it. I know it's not supposed to make sense or work out or whatever else. I get that. I understand. But this, the hypocrisy of it just really irks me. <laughs> you know, I mean, we've been harassed. People have violated YouTube policies right and left against this channel, against me personally. You know, um, I mean, it, say about harassing, there was a, there's this, insane woman and she actually was telling people to call cps so that my son would be taken from me but that's not harassment that's okay her channel stays on everything's fine yet if i would do that then it would be you know it would be whatever so you know, and i actually it was interesting how i found out about this whole you know new policy thing um i got into the comments and I actually saw there's been a lot of post tribbers watching my how to prepare to go through the great tribulation video where I'm speaking in jest, you know, that you don't actually prepare to go through it, you get saved. And um, I, I actually replied to some of these people and I'm putting comments there, you know, my comments and then links to my videos, you know, telling I actually posted a couple of times uh, salvation, you know, messages about salvation. Um, and literally YouTube went in and deleted my comments, you know, and I'm thinking, Oh, okay. So you're censoring me already. Um, so I'll, I'll check into the thing there of this, uh, podbean.com. Um, so I don't know. I, um, I mean, my, I'm, I'm not the best technology guy and whatever else. Uh, and so for me to try some whole new platform, or whatever else, <laughs> that's a, kind of a steep learning curve for me. Um, but uh, I'm just waiting right now on, on uh, some videos that I have that are rendering. So I thought I'll just do a quick little, um, quick, quick little live stream, just talking about this. Uh, we need to pray about this if you could for me i, I really do appreciate that um you know it just it just seems like they're they're working harder and harder to censor this channel it's we've had so much censoring over the years i mean i i showed the proof years ago where they actually you know in one night alone they actually um came in and deleted eighty thousand views from my channel uh, so you know, just just pray for us. Look for the Lord's leading, for the Lord's direction. Um, so, but uh, does anybody have any things? Um, uh, 
anybody have any questions or any kind of things, thoughts or whatever else? I can go over some of that real quick here. Hello, Brian. Can you give a sermon on 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 21, please? Um, I've mentioned that in other in some videos and things, that passage about if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Um, so um, I I don't know. It's a good passage of scripture. Question, does this mean you need to remove all your current videos? No, I'm not going to. I'm not the, the whole COPA thing with this. You can be sued $42,000 for each violating video. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm, <laughs> thanks. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not removing my videos. I'm not uh, going to worry much about that. If they want to say that I'm making videos for children because my son appears in some of the videos, well, whatever. Um, Yep. Uh, hi, brother. Um, question, which site do you use for your website? Is it pretty affordable? Well, we use webs.com. And for what I use it for, it's I'm paying way too much. It's, it's about $250 a year. And... Uh, Probably not the best deal, <laughs> uh, quite honestly. Um, it, it's you know fairly intuitive. I can go in and make it look pretty good and whatever, and I can figure out most things on it. But um, I don't know. Uh, something I'm praying about is I'd really like to be able to have uh, some help with the ministry because it's getting to the point where where you know um, you know. I'll show you your other one here. Does it have a limit to storage? Um, yeah, there is a limit, but it's pretty big. I mean, it's, it's, I forget what it is. Um, I'd have to look into that, but it's, it's, you can put a, put a pretty good amount of stuff on there. Um, question, how do, how to deal with an unsafe Seventh-day Adventist? It keeps telling you can lose salvation if you screw it up. Well, you know, if somebody says you can lose salvation, then you've never had it. OK, because salvation is from God, um, you know, so you gotta watch out for that. Um, have you looked into God tube? Uh, I've heard nightmare stories about that. You know, people getting banned for talking about the Bible version issue and whatever else. Um, so. Um, so. I'd like to do some more. Um, I, I'm thinking about doing a live stream sometime, and I don't know how. Maybe just leave the thing that people can. I don't know how to, you know, make it so people can join me in this thing or whatever else. But I'd like to open it up that people could actually, you know, not just comments, but people could actually join in and and uh, ask questions or talk or whatever else or, you know, um, it's it's really weird because, you know. We we like we actually like to talk to people that might you know we get a lot of people saying we're just cultic and whatever else no we're not um, we we love to talk to people um, and you know it's it's just uh, YouTube makes it look like we're just living some isolated life and whatever else and and we're not and uh, so but. Um, yeah, the main main prayer request right now is just uh, that the Lord would would uh, send you know some help our way, um, you know, locally is what I'm saying. We're really praying about that. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about it, but um, Zoom. Okay, I'll put this comment up here as soon as it comes up. Have you ever considered using the Zoom platform to have a meeting with believers? Uh, I do not know what Zoom, Zoom is, to be very honest. Um, I'll have to check into that. Let me let me write that down. Zoom. Oh, oh yeah, thank you. I went and clicked off and hit another one. 
Um, Brother Hens Hensley's channel is simply called Hensley. He's great and uploads sermons from Brother Andy Castle, who knew Ruckman. Also, his other brother, David Hoffman. Thanks, Brother Brian. I'll pray. Um, yeah, I have uh, David Hoffman's study Bible. Um, so, but I'd, I'd like to get away from YouTube, quite frankly, because YouTube's run by a bunch of stinking liberals, and I just angers me that they're trying to censor our speech and and i mean i i again people that know me I'm, I'm a very very nice very gentle guy but when i preach i use sarcasm as a way to really show i don't want to be wishy-washy i don't want to be politically correct when when people hear me preach i want them to know i believe what i'm saying and so i'm not going to um Beat around the bush and whatever else. Um, so, Zoom, uh, right, I have to write that down to Zoom platform. A lot of new things that are coming out. I, I don't understand it all, but. Um, Okay, or something here. Hi, hey, Brian. If a person ends up in hell, would you agree it would not be because they did not um, get their sins forgiven, but unbelief? Well, um, you know, why do they? Why is? Why are they in unbelief? You know. Um, yeah, I, I did a whole sermon on that. Um, so, you know, unbelief is is a sin. In scripture so I don't know exactly where you're going with that whole thing so um, uh, question did you put up a video about some of David Hoffman's strange notes I don't remember if I did or not I know I've made comments about that um, so um, Yeah, I don't know if I did or not on that. It's not even that bad anymore. My sister wants to get me an Ignatius Bible for Christmas. What is an Ignatius Bible? <laughs> or Ignatius uh, would be the proper way to say it, but I don't even know what that is. Um, so, um, see this here, Katie Lynn. I, uh, Romans 14 12 I have never believed in pre-trib just never felt right in my spirit uh, if I'm wrong about that even after having studied it that's okay I don't believe in preparing for it either way um, well please you know I get kind of nasty in things with post-tribbers but it's because I get harassed by them and whatever but please do look into it um, I have preached on that subject for many many years I am very familiar with every single argument um, from the post-trib position, going through it, whatever else, uh, my main points that I'd like to bring up to you that I want you to think about is, number one, what is the time period for? The church does not need to be purified. Okay, We are pure because of the blood of Jesus Christ. His righteousness is imputed to us. It's for the time of Jacob's trouble, according to Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Christians are sealed under the day of redemption. Okay, What is the day of redemption? Think about that. We are redeemed. We're bought. We're purchased. God's not going to lose any of his children. But if you go into the time of Jacob's trouble and you take the mark of the beast, the Bible says, if any man take the mark, he shall receive God's wrath. So there's so many problems with believing that the church, the body of Christ goes into this time period. It just, it's not scriptural. It's very, very serious heresy. And a lot of people fall for it. So please watch my videos on the, the pre-trib uh, rapture um, it's the being called up before the time of Jacob's trouble is the actual scriptural term for it but please please do watch it because it's a real blessing when you understand that that time period is not even for the church it's for the nation of Israel and the Jews I love the Jewish people I pray for the Jewish people and it breaks my heart to see how much they hate Jesus Christ a lot of them uh, it brings me just so much joy when I 
hear a Jew that gets saved and whatever else, it just, I love that. But there are Jewish rabbis that hate Jesus badly. And I just can't watch them very long because they're just, oh, they're vicious. And God's judgment is coming. Um, so on them. But please, please take time to watch some of my stuff on that. Um, and, it, you know, and it's, it's, I'll tell you what, sometimes the only thing that gets me through the day is, is understanding that the next, supernatural event to happen is not the appearance of the antichrist but it's my savior jesus christ being called up and you know john's on the isle of patmos and, and he and he hears his name called and he looks up and he sees the door open in heaven and boom he goes up and get to see jesus um so um so Okay. Okay. I, I missed a whole lot of stuff when I was talking there. Um, is there any way to know your ancestry by a DNA test? I don't trust DNA testing one bit. I think it's a, an opposition of science falsely so called. Um, I think it's ridiculous because how can they determine what is a German gene if they're if everybody they say everybody's mixed and whatever else okay then how do you isolate a gene that's German or you know Italian or uh, African or whatever I think it's just I think it's nonsense um, okay Uh, Brian Tech Guy here from Silicon Valley, California. The only conservative here seems like, I'm sure there's not very many. How do I get in contact with you? I want to help you with what's going on. Um, well, you know, I, I if I give out my email address, then, you know, there's all these people that, that uh, I start getting emails from and whatever else. Um, you know, that's why I had to do the whole P.O. box thing, you know, post office, go through the post office. Uh, not the best option I know for people nowadays, but uh, it just it was getting to a point years and years ago where I was I was literally getting a couple hundred emails a day. And I just I just had to say, I'm sorry, I, I have to shut this down. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Honestly, you know, I, I used to be able to say, send me a private message here on YouTube, but they got rid of that. So, uh, you know, um, go to King James Radio Ministries org and you can email some of the administrators there and they know my email address and they can get in contact with me and I can get in contact with you. That's the best thing to, to, to say. So, um Yeah, uh, Jonas Pearson, Katie Lynn, he put up a recent sermon about sinning against liberty where he addresses that we have freedom to celebrate holidays. That's up to us. Yeah, I mean, when I say celebrate, you can celebrate Christmas if you feel like it or whatever else. I'm not saying Santa Claus and, and a lot of the pagan aspects of it or whatever. But if you if you have a child like I do right here and, um, and he likes to see the lights and some of the songs, you know, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, I mean, you know, listen to the hymns that are written around this time of the year and they're beautiful. And, but I guess if you're anti Christmas, you have to, you know, hate on those hymns or something. Um, he likes to hear Christmas songs. He likes to see the, the, the pretty lights when we're driving home at night. And, you know, Hey, we don't have, we don't, we don't even have enough room to put up a Christmas tree, but we have lights around our little tiny home thing. And we we're going to get him some Christmas presents, whatever. And we're telling him this is the time that we remember that Jesus Christ came to the earth. We read the Christmas story. We sing hymns about that time. So, you know, when I say you can celebrate Christmas, I don't mean the full way that the world does it. I'm just saying you don't have to just go around as, you know, uh, 
you know, you don't have to go around like Scrooge or something and, and just hate on anybody that, that wants to have anything to do with Christmas. Um, so whatever. Uh, uh, let's see here. Question. Do you think Psalm 90 confirms that a generation of 70, 80 years and Jesus Christ could rapture us up around 2021? Being 80 years marks 2028 since 1948, Israel's rebirth. No idea, quite frankly. Um, so, you trying to tickle me? <laughs> oh boy. Um, hey, <laughs> no. Ow. <laughs> um, okay, I see another good question here. Um, question What happens to a non believer's soul and spirit when they die? Um, I believe that their soul and spirit go down to hell and they come up at the great white throne judgment revelation chapter 20 where they get their final judgment and then they're condemned to the lake of fire fall of eternity and that's when they get their final body of flesh which i believe will be a a worm if i can say it that way um What is a little, little boy chuckling about? He likes to tickle. He thinks he's tickling my ears. <laughs> he, easy to tickle as well. But. Yeah. Hey, there's some puppies. Yeah, they brought some puppies up. See? So. Uh huh. Uh, do you have an opinion opinion of Israeli News Live? Uh, Stephen Ben Danoon, I think it is. Um, he's he's brought out some good stuff, and but there's you know he's not a King James Bible believer, which I have a major issue with that, and he also came out with the whole thing. Saying that the uh, the King James was falsely translated and that it's it's perfectly fine for women to be preachers, you know, pastors and things, and it was a mistranslation of the King James Bible. So I take major issue with that. So that's when I stopped watching him. Um, you know, I, I liked some of the stuff he brought out and whatever, but um, I had to uh, I had to just distance myself from him at that point. So, put this one up here. Brother, he says, um, friend of the ministry for a while, he says, I myself do not put up a pagan Christmas tree. What I did was purchase a larger size nativity scene and put it in front of our fireplace and place lights around the fireplace and the nativity scene. Sounds really beautiful. Actually, I, <laughs> I knew a guy years ago, and he said that the image that the Lord smites and, and things in the future is actually a nativity scene. <laughs> I mean, I've met I've met Christians within the Bible believing movement that are so, you know, antagonistic on the whole Christmas celebration thing. Okay, stop. Um, so whatever, you know, I mean the Christmas tree thing, yeah, it's pagan, it's heathen. I get that, you know, it's it's kind of a um a uh um oh what's the thing? Druid type of deal you know I, I get it I understand that worshiping the fir tree and the holly and all that other stuff um, you know but 
the average person out there is not doing that. I mean, we did it growing up and it was, we didn't worship the tree or sacrifice children or have orgies or whatever. It just was a time that, you know, we got together with family and a lot, oftentimes we made gifts for each other and, and it was a really special time. You get to see, here's a gift that I've given to you and you get to see somebody's face get all, you know, they get all excited. And, wow. Thank you so much. That's really neat. That's why we do Christmas. You know, that's why, um, let me call it whatever you want to call it, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, I just, I think it, it can become a very, very divisive issue, uh, you know, with people. And I just, there's a lot of carnal stuff that comes in with that. Um, question, when does a man obtain forgiveness of sins at salvation or at the cross? All transgression is paid for at the cross. Forgiveness is from that moment or only when you get saved. Um, when you get saved. Yeah, I would definitely say that. Um, when you get saved is when your sins are forgiven. Um, when his righteousness is imputed to you. Question. Come on. I said stop. Question, why didn't Satan talk to God instead of the angels? Curious. Um, well, that's, that's how it is with a lot of times, you know, the like the Pharisees, they go after the disciples of Jesus and not to Jesus. You know, I, I've seen that thing so many times, you know. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not the Lord. Don't get me wrong. But people will oftentimes go after friends of this ministry and not come to me. It's the same kind of spirit. They don't want to deal with God. They don't want to deal with a preacher. They'll go after the people. You know, um, Paul writes about it. He says, you know, even of your own selves, shall men arise seeking, to, you know, to draw away disciples after themselves. Um, they're just, you know, showing that they're serving Satan. Should a Christian watch shows like Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad? No, no. Christians shouldn't watch TV. It's going way beyond any kind of justification for it. Um, have you ever been to Ireland? No. I've never been to Europe, any of the European countries. I've been to uh, Costa Rica and Honduras were the only two other countries I've ever been to. Um, been, a, you know, around America a bunch of different times, but um, would you consider a live talk with Eric Phelps? I did years ago, and Phelps and I kind of had a falling out over the whole Trinitarian thing. He's a Trinitarian. I'm not. I believe in the biblical Godhead. I don't mess around with uh, this pagan Trinity concept. You know, just to show this. Um, much love, but no Christmas for me. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I have no problem with that. Um, you know, just uh, I get irritated. I mean, I, I read a letter in my responding to letters. It's it's actually rendering right now. It'll be uploaded within the next couple of days. But um, I read a letter. Uh, uh, some people actually literally wrote my whole ministry off because I don't I'm not vehemently anti Christmas. And I just think, man, that is just it's bad. And, you know, I think if there's a, a satanic spirit that comes in there and says, finds little things like that and says, look, you know, Brian's not right on all these different things. So just write off his whole ministry, even though they've gotten saved and the Lord's done things for them through this ministry. They can just write me off because of a little disagreement like that. It's a problem. So, oops, went to click on the thing and it went up. Um, was Timothy saved when Paul wrote this to him? First Timothy 4, 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Well, obviously he was saved at that point in time because if, he, if Paul was saying, it's eternal salvation there in that passage. Well, then you can get saved and people that hear you can get saved. Uh, no, what he's saying is 
you can get saved as a Christian. And yet, if you don't do certain things in your, in, as God's trying to sanctify sin out of your life, you can make a, a mess out of your life, a really bad mess. So um, there's different types of salvation, um, you know, and uh, I, again, I've done studies on that. I can't get into the whole thing. Question. In the book of Revelation, it talks about the prayers of saints up in heaven where God dwells. Yep. Um, saints are Christians. Okay. Um, it's not some kind of a special thing, um, you know, that Catholics have to deem them, you know, you're a saint now or something like this. No, that's not it. So. Um, you know, <laughs> see, you're doing too many cute things. That means that I'm trying to lure children in and I'm going to, I should have this video taken down because I'm a, I'm a terrible, I've violated Copa and all this other stuff. Uh, if you're just tuning into this live stream, um, we were originally talking about the, the Copa rules and whatever else, the children's online privacy protection act. And if you're violating it, then you can have your, you know, you can be fined all this you know, 42,000 per video and whatever else. I'm not really so much worried about that because there was a, another part came out where the FTC um, said that if you have a mixed audience, in other words, your videos could be watched by men, you know, adults and children, then you're not really making them for children. Well, I would fall under that. But, um, you know, the other issue you know, that I'm not really worried about the COPA thing is uh, my channel's not monetized. So not really too concerned about that. But the recent, um, you know, thing, this this new harassment policy stuff that just came out today. Uh, yeah, that's not so good that uh, I, I speak very plainly. I speak sarcastically. A lot of times I'm very blunt. I want people to know what I what I believe. I'm not going to beat around the bush. And that's going to offend people and they can just say, Oh, YouTube, look, you know, um, you know, uh, okay. 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 Thank you. Um, you know, people can just come out and claim that I'm offending them and whatever else. And so the, the these new policies, it's a problem. Uh, I can just see censorship coming and I really just, I want to get to a point where I can just preach the word what, you know, on some platform or offline video or something and I can just let it rip and here we go and I can show you know comments from books and whatever else and, and you know so that's what I'm praying about and I'd, I'd appreciate everybody praying on that and just saying okay because ultimately it's up to the Lord whether this channel continues or not that's the whole thing um, so Bless you, Brother Brian. Your ministry has been a tremendous help to me. I've learned more from you in the last two years since leaving my Babel building than in over 20 years of attendance. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that from people. Um, and I can say it's true for myself. I've learned more just back and forth with um, brethren and, and things. Uh, I need to write that down. I see that. Um, that you. I know I've been looking. I've been. I need to check out some of the stuff, but, um, you know, uh, so I don't know this get a little sidetrack there. <laughs> uh, please pray for me. I need courage in witnessing to my Catholic family members. Most Latinos are raised Catholic and with them, it is just tradition. Yep. I've been in Central America. I've seen how strong the Catholic Church is down there. I understand. 
Um, Okay, I'm trying to see what this is. Brenda Endinger, Ben is a coward, is a sin. I am not a Christian, but how are you? Uh, not understanding you there. I'm not really getting what you're trying to say there. Um, I just mentioned Brother Danny Castle earlier. Do you know him? I think you guys would get along really well. He has used some of your work, like the new versions. He knew and preached at Rockman's Church. I've heard his name. I, I have met a bunch of different graduates of uh, PBI over the years and in person and also through the Internet and whatever else, and I've talked with him and things. Um, I, I know the name, but I don't know if I've ever actually written back and forth with him or anything. Um, okay, you think he means is being a coward a sin? Um, no, being a coward is not a sin. I don't believe that way. Um, I have a question I really need help with. Are you familiar with John 5 37? What do you think he means? Uh, let me just look that up real quick. John 5, verse 37. And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. Um, well, Jesus Christ is... Uh, He's just simply saying, you know, that would kick the modalist thing that uh, they say that Jesus is the father shifting. You know, he's he's you never see that the three parts of God there, the body, soul and spirit. You never see him separate. Uh, well, that's not true. Um, a body and a soul can speak uh, to one another. Um, you know, the rich man says, he says, I said to myself, you know, said to my soul, soul, take thine ease or whatever. Just quoting from memory here. Um, so, so, Can you do a sermon on the topic of cowardice and anxiety? It's pretty much my biggest sin. It gets to the point where I'm paranoid and I care too much about other people's opinions of me. We all struggle with that. I don't believe that there's anybody that's just totally outgoing and can just witness to anybody and walk up to them. And, you know, Paul talks about without, you know, within her fears, without her fightings, you know, and things. People think he's bold and what everybody's saying, I'm scared to death inside. It's just you become obsessed to the point of, you know, all you can think about is the Lord and it's going to come out of your mouth is my best advice on that. So. You just want to be goofy today, don't you? When aren't you goofy? <laughs> All right. Well, I think I've pretty much covered the whole thing. Um, Hold on. I think I'm, I've pretty much covered the whole thing of this COPA ruling and this new anti, you know, don't harass people and whatever else. Um, we just need to, um, you know, you know, we need to pray about it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been back and forth on what the Lord wants, and, and I know I seem like I'm all over the place sometimes. It's because I've 
I'm praying and I say, okay, Lord, what do you want me to do? And sometimes it doesn't always come through clear. I just think, okay, you know, what should I be doing next? And uh, so okay i'll share this one oh, not that one this one the thing keeps jumping up on me uh, you ought to change your user picture there but uh, in regards to the godhead a friend of mine told me that the soul and spirit are interchangeable in the bible i wish i had a good example of this what are your thoughts on this um they're not they're different uh, you get into some of the oneness stuff um you gotta be careful of that I should, you know, I got to do a study on that or something. Um, so, come on. Okay. One more. <clears throat> so, well, a little while to go here yet for the uh, render and all that stuff, but I'm probably going to sign out here. It's good talking to everybody, certainly. Um, can I re-preach my – put up your comment. Can you re-preach your audio sermons on suicide and debate? Uh, that was done a long time ago, and I've often thought about re preaching a lot of that. Um, you know, some of the old audio sermons from way, way, way back at Bible Bible Believers Fellowship. Um, but I don't know. Right now, things are just really up in the air. You know, with all that's going on, it's just crazy. Um, So. Yep. Thanks, uh, Brother David. All right, so yeah. Um, yep, I'm gonna sign out here, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just, uh, there's different questions that are coming up here, but I'm just, you know, I just really wanted to do this thing real quick, just to say, just to request prayer and say, you know, this new you know, YouTube policy that was just released today, is just kind of a little brother, you know, so. Um, all right. Yeah. You want to say goodbye? Can you say goodbye? You're just going to keep your mouth sealed. You're not going to say goodbye. You can't say bye. Say it. Come on. <laughs> People are saying goodbye to you. You should say goodbye back. You say goodbye? No. No, you're not going to say goodbye. All right. Well, please do keep us in your prayers uh, for the Lord's will to be made clear in these areas of this possible censorship coming up. So I um, have some interesting sermon ideas to, to come up, and I'm going to be answering people's letters, a whole lot of them. Uh, like I said, it's been a couple hours today recording that, but should be coming out within the next few days. So um, good to, to you know, at least see the comments. I'd love to be able to meet with all of you, you know, face to face and talk to you and everything else. Uh, we love that. Um, love to be able to talk to the brethren. Um, that's why I look forward to the catching up the body of Christ. I can't wait to be able to be there together and just finally look around and, oh, hey, hey, brother, hi, sister, you know, and there's Jesus over there and, and just, oh, it's finally over. <laughs> Our time on earth, it's over. It's done. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Finally, we get to be here. 
<laughs> so that'd be the greatest present the Lord you give us, you know, this holiday season or whatever you want to call it. So um, we'll uh, catch everybody in another one. Um, and we'll see about the Zoom thing and some of these other things. Thank you, everybody out there for your suggestions. So that is going to be it. We'll see you in the next video.